Is your family part part of the owner? Uh, I'm, I'm the owner. You're the owner? Yeah. Well, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me and my wife. Well, I be dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, bless your heart. I had no idea. Yeah. I thought they didn't sit somebody down no. here. <laughs> no, I come out here. I've been in this 47 years. That's awesome, buddy. Well, thank you for all that you do, buddy. Appreciate I appreciate it. you still making knives in the United States. I really, really do. Really really do. Okay, guys, we are just walked in the door. We've been in line for about two hours, and we are here now. I'll get us close, and then we'll find where they are. Okay, sir. And, and, and Ariel, he's he's from, from Mexico. Hi, from Mexico, Argentina. And, and he's one of my subscribers. Yeah, he lives in Mexico. He's from Argentina. Very cool. We got the bird dog here with me. We're looking for some knives. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything today, but... We're gonna look. Spider code is down this way. This case. I don't know. Golden Hunters. Boy. Look at here, this is eye candy right here. Pair of three. The pair of three. So 190 with a satin blade, 200 with a black blade. Show price. Ah, I got you. So it's 190. This is for you. So you're going to definitely be doing better with your op focus. Right. You know, all, I understand. You can wait. Right, you but, understand. Waiting's hard sometimes. It's hard. Uh, but this is definitely my next night. Really is. But I thank you for sharing that, man. For sure. I really do. You have a great show. All right, sir. All right. Thank you, man. Well, I thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Two of my three boys and Marines. Well, I appreciate that. Well, thank y'all. Darn, you took it away. I wanted to What's that? Oh, the pair of three? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Just that. Oh, wow. Queen Cup. Look here. Yeah. Rough Riders are on here. Bear and Sons. Bear and Sons. That was actually a Montana skin knife for uh, muskrats and things like that. So they had to be able to get around the muskrat. That's his baby. I can raise a blade now. I'm sorry, buddy. Too much eye candy right now. <laughs> Who makes the queen knife now? Baron Sons. For y'all. Well, right now, uh, get, they're getting ready to be Point River. On the other ones, unless they actually go in with us. We're not releasing that. And honestly, on these, I'm not even sure. Okay. But they're all being made in America. Okay, so you, y'all can't really say who's exactly. making. I got you. And, and unless I was they wondering... actually go in on it with us, like this new white river. So I got you. Because I was wondering who who was making them in the USA. Because yes. I used to love. Well, I fell in love with Queen as of late. Right. I didn't appreciate yes, them when they were in business, but right. the older queens I love. Right. Yes. Sir. They're. They, get, they got a snap like no other. Oh, yeah, they're, they're beautiful knives. And uh, soon, all of our old knives are going to be online as well. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. Very I've got to make a trip up there. To, yeah, definitely. I've been there from. one time. We're, we're from, from Georgia, from okay. Sly County. Okay. You know where? Ellaville, Georgia. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm about, about three hours from south of here. Okay. Yes. But uh, I made a trip up there smoking my knife works one time, and I love it. I want to go yeah, back. So. So we're so, we're man. we'll we'll be coming, yeah, but uh, good, but well, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. I love this. Yeah, we thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Hey, when you come, make sure you let them know you're back. All right, I, 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 I sure will, sir. Yes, sir. Right, thank you, buddy. Smoky Mountain, nice work. 
got a huge booth. AC knives. I love the AC. $560. How nice is that? Essie. Love the Essie knives. Oh, look at you. The toy knife. Oh, Lord. Sasquatch. That's so cool, right? Here. Yes, he knows. So, walk on our basically this right here. So, um, and it's just if you want to buy the pouch separately or something like that, then you can attach it. Or if you want to buy the molly back separately, you can attach it. Or you can buy them both and attach it all like this. That's all up together. Okay. So how much is this thing? Or is this from the website? Uh, no, we can, we can sell them here. Uh, we have the orange ones here. Uh, for thirty-four fifteen plus tax. So. But you don't have the green. No, we don't have the green. Um, you can get them. Uh, they usually sell for. I don't think what they usually sell. For. Would that fit a five? An SC five? Yep, it would. That's you my know, favorite knife, man. Yeah, they usually sell for around forty dollars or so, thirty-five to forty dollars on the website. It's like the dealer's website. It's not bad at all. Is it? I would think the six was uh, beautiful knife. Probably around sixty dollars or so, and I think the five because it's a kydex sheet, not injected molding, whatever was around. Yeah, except for the new Pekaya knife right there. What's what's the price of this knife here? And it comes with a, a, a sheath, right? A, a, a kydex. Because I love y'all's knives, man. I have a an SC five. And that was a bulldog of a knife. I have used and abused it. That thing is still sharp. Look. 180. 180, okay. How you doing, man? Doing good, bud. Free touch. How you doing, man? Doing all right. I'm Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. You too, sir. Now, now where y'all from? So, the company is from Denmark. Denmark. He's from, he's from Georgia. I'm from South Carolina. Okay. He's from the Philippines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so originally, Mikkel Williamson is the designer for the company. Uh -huh. He's known as a custom guy. Awesome. Beautiful. So guy. for the past 25 years, everybody knows him a custom guy. But he finally got to a point where he's just like, you know what? I love doing custom work. And he's saying, but and it's lucrative and it's fun to do. But he wanted to get more blades in more people's hands. So he decided to go with the production. Yeah, maybe. So we wanted to do good quality materials, good design, and keep it affordable for people. I got you. Custom work, you know, two grand, four grand, that's not not surprising. Everything on this table here, like that's 65. Everything here is anywhere between 130 and 65 dollars. I got you. Where are they made at? Where in order to keep the price down, we have to do them in China right now. I I got you. Okay. So Q and A is very important for us. Nickel had to make sure that you know the place that he gets it right, out. Right, 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 right. Doesn't Look, send his does. There's some 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 good looking knives. It. Thank you. Really yeah. Well. So they're all ball bearing uh, ball bearing swivels. These are G10 and PVD coatings. Very cool. And we have a uh, deep pocket for that. Yeah. It's a good looking knife, man. It sure is. And so what's, is what's, what's, what's the company's mine. name? What's that? What is the company's name? What's the name? Yes. Williamson Copenhagen. I got this you. Is yes. a, this is a red E. Williamson Copenhagen. Very cool. All right. Can I, this is mine. This is the name? one I beat on. Okay. And I, I haven't killed it yet. <laughs> yes. Nice knife, man. That's the same one, ain't it? It is the same one, just different color. Very cool. Can I interest you in getting in a raffle? Sure. All right. Sure.
good looking knives. Seem to be very well made too. Very heavy. The only requirement is that you get your butt back here by noon. Okay, which yeah. Which is about 15 minutes. Oh, wow, okay. And if okay. you win, you get to choose any blade on the table. Well, where can people meet y'all or, or go to y'all's website stuff? You can go to the website. Uh, it's on here. Okay. Okay, you on uh, the Instagram and stuff? I believe it's on, uh, on the website. Oh, okay, on the website. All right. All right, but I'll be right back. I'll see you in a couple. All right, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey, how you doing, sir? Watch you all the time. How you doing, man? Yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So, where y'all from? Out of Macon. Where? Macon, Georgia. Macon, okay, very cool, man. Thank you. We were so talking much. about going to Watsonville. Uh huh. Oh, really? Yeah, I tell you, you, you will not regret it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I went in there. I was kind of pushed for time. I, was, I went in there and I seen right right away. I got to go back. Yeah. So, I told you, I was like, God, you got this fair to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And but they have uh, the the issues, but I'm gonna be taking one apart soon. Yeah, yeah. But thank y'all for, yeah, for to nice to meet y'all. Yeah, yeah. You too, bud. Have a good day. Y'all too, sir. Oh, 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 I gotta get me one, like one of these. Have y'all got plenty in stock? These are not on our website yet. We had them made up just for our factory store. Really? And since Matt and I run our store, we're like, we're gonna bring those with us. Yeah, so are those, those for sale, right? Absolutely. They're okay. 20 for the aluminum tin. Wow, I love that cup too. Yeah, man, that's a rubber cup. Uh, yep, they're perfect for camping. They kids. are. I'm gonna come back, y'all. Sure am. Uh, and I look. Oh my God, y'all got all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna be buying. We're having fun. Yeah. Uh, so that one, that probably get one one of these. But I'm definitely getting one of the yeah. cups. Yeah. Uh, my I have fallen. I mean, I used to like Buck, but I have fallen in love with Buck, especially mm -hmm. the Spitfire. I that's love it, man. It is. Mm -hmm. I actually had y'all to make a custom Spitfire. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love it. Love I it. built out 40 different ones for the show. Is that right? Oh, you did? They're specially made? Yep. Oh, my goodness. I love the Spitfire. I promote it on my, my channel all the time. Oh, cool. So do. Yes, I have a lot of fun playing with those in the store. Me too. And they're, they're the perfect EDC knife, in, in my opinion, for mm -hmm. the price. They really are. The fact that you can move the clip to all four sides. Yes. It makes it one of the only knives able to carry. It's like a gift you can give somebody not knowing if they're left-handed, right-handed, if they prefer tip up, tip down, in the Right. Fit. And I love it that Buck is, is making a affordable knife in the USA. Mm -hmm. Because one with 428C steel is so affordable. Like, mm -hmm. like 49 bucks. Yep. So, I love it. I love Buck, and I love the fact that y'all put about Christ on y'all's paperwork. And that will always be John three sixteen. Good. On that yeah, I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back to y'all. Yes. Come back to y'all. I'm gonna have to get get some signs. I, I, I just don't have no way of carrying it around right now. I have bags. You do have big I bags. Do have big All bags. right, that's good to know. I can't that's good prepare. to know. My backpack is about full now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank y'all so much. Glad y'all are here. Hey, have y'all got that at Sherman Tank Knife? All the way down here at the end. Now, what's what's the price of it here at the uh, show? Let me check to see if we brought any. Tiger, okay. Yeah, there's the, there it is there, right? Yeah. Sherman? Uh huh. Yeah. What's the question? I, I just want to see. And what's what's the price here? Let me double check to see if we bought uh, any. Give me just sale, a second. Just sale. Yeah. I got you. There it is, guys. That's the one I'm gonna buy eventually. I'm not gonna buy it here at the show. Is that something? It is. My uncle was killed in one of these. Really? In World War II. Yeah. Yesterday was the 80th uh, anniversary of D-Day. Yeah, he actually died September 21st. We do have some here for the show. It's 4:15. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. It's a pretty good deal. Yes, it, it is. is. It's, it's 600 bucks online. Yeah, it's a good yeah. deal actually. And, uh, and we only have four of them available okay. here. Okay. You wanna you do that? I'll give you I'll give you like four hats. So. Four hats. Yeah. Uh -huh.
Beautiful. That's it, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I can't beat that price. I'm afraid I won't be able to find one for 415 So uh, we're going to go ahead and buy it. If you hold on to that, these knives are going to be worth well, see, see, I'm doing a tribute in, in my showroom for my uncle. He, yeah. he, he got killed in a, a Sherman tank. And uh, it's just a good tribute for him. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. And I appreciate the hats, too. Absolutely. Sure, sure do. Yeah. Did you want to do cash or card? I'm going to do it by my card. Card. All right. And then just so you know, there is sales taxes with that. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Oh. I did, too, buddy. Mm -hmm. So you say they're only y'all will never make these again? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, once they're done, they're done. Yeah. Once they run out of material to make them, that's it. I'm not gonna hold you up, man. Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, man. Mike, I'm the one that contacted you about that Sherman tank. Yes. I, I bought one. Okay. I, I, I just bought one. I, I did here. Okay. Uh, do you have it here with you right now? I do. Okay. Which one is that? Let's take a quick peek at this because I had. <laughs> Hold that for one second. Okay. Do you want that one or do you want this one? Okay. Because there is a difference between oh, okay. these guys. I didn't know that. So they're both the same item number. It's the same steel, all that. Key difference when you open this up. Feel that scale and then feel this scale. Oh my god. So the first 300 were polished. And that's this is one of those first 300. I won't know. I kind of thought you might. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate all the responses and every, every, everything. It, it means a lot. No problem. I mean, yeah, you would call me up and said you definitely wanted this knife, so we brought it just for you. Well, thank you, buddy. Yep. All right. So we'll Very cool. Here. Yeah, that's a smooth pop polish there. Now, what kind of the, the handle is, is it's that again? Burlap micarta. Burlap micarta. I thought. So. Couldn't remember. All right. So, yep, so that one is yours now. It is. And yeah, there's cereal as the back. So that's number 84. 84. Yeah. That's awesome, buddy. Well, thank you again, Mike. Yes, appreciate it, bud. Enjoy. All right, sir. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I love Buck. I oh, really do. You. I, my favorite knife, though, from Buck is the uh, Buck Spitfire. Oh, the Spitfire. I love yeah. it. I love it. Oh, nice. I do. I do. Nice. Love, love it. But, yeah, I'm getting all this stuff to... Uh, I'm, I'm making me a new knife shop, and this stuff okay. is going to go up in there. So, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, please, please, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Huh? What now? Would you like the cup sign? Please, please. Mr. C.J. Buck, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Cool. Any other items? Um, I think that's it for right now. Okay. I'm going to look at the knives, but... Okay, All right, let's go. Got to be part of the book family, y'all. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that, man. Oh, my pleasure. I want to get out and see y'all's uh the, 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 the factory one one day. It's a it's a nice tour. Where are you from? From 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 from, from Georgia. If if uh, we have it's a, it's a great trip. It's 85 degrees, no humidity at all. Very nice. So it's just up in the mountains. It's a, it's a nice. Uh, so if you're if you get the opportunity to escape some humidity, come come see us. I sure will, sir. Um, yeah, the Spitfire is just a great design, great EDC knife. I love it, man. I really do. No. All right. And this one. Where should I do it down in this corner? Yeah, that'd be cool. And I'm, and I'm just glad that, that y'all are still making affordable knives here in the United States. I really am. Really yeah, am. that's... Uh, a working made, man's knife. That, that's made possible by not being in California right now. There you go. There you go. 
I understand, sir. I That's gave awesome. a uh, presentation to uh, to Idaho governor, to our governor. And so we did a big Bowie knife, because he's kind of a Western rancher guy. So we did a, we did a big Bowie knife with elk horn and turquoise. And I just wanted to present it to him as kind of a common sense award for how, and so we did a whole proclamation of just how well Idaho responded to COVID and how much that meant to us as a business because right. we were in a vulnerable place when COVID hit. So if, if Idaho had been restrictive like California or some of the other states, it, it could have drove us under. Like oh, it, it could it have. Just, it would have been just at, that, at that wrong time with the wrong pressures. Yes. And so Idaho handled everything so, you know, we basically shut down for about two weeks. Yes. And then, yes. okay, we're just going to watch and see what happens. Right. Kids went back to school. Stuff continued to happen normal. We we just kind of watched it, and it just felt like a very good way to have, to have handled all right, of that while right. we're all waiting. To, and uh, and so in presenting that to him, I literally broke down in tears because uh, yeah. I understand. We've been in California. We as a family could have lost our business. I guess, yes. and a lot of people did. Like yes. A lot of. Uh, a lot of things, life saving. And supplies was hard to get to at that time. What what the steel? I'm sure. Yeah, we didn't. We so we were able to get all of our raw materials, but because we were we import some, but not very much. So we were still able to provide and ship. Right. So we came out of COVID just really healthy. That's good. As a company, and it yeah. hasn't stopped yet. Like it just it just keeps going. Right. So, well, another thing I like about Boat too is that y'all do a, a program that y'all discount knives for the veterans, yes sir, first responders. Yeah. That's that's huge, man. I just want to thank thank oh, you for that. I really, I, I really do, and I love Boat. I really do, and I love that John three sixteen on y'all's paperwork. Yeah, yes, sir. that means a lot. No, that was that came from my father. Yeah, yeah. well, I that appreciate was, it. that was something he wanted to do, and he talked to my grandfather about it. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> Yes. That was in the that was in the late seventies. We've been doing it ever since. You know what I just found? I, I just found like a like in a pawn shop, uh, a nineteen sixty seven, nineteen seventy two inverted buck, okay. uh, buck one ten. You know the buck uh -huh. the logos inverted. I, I paid forty bucks for it. Ah. The original sheath, excellent nice. condition. I wouldn't take one fifty for it now. So, yeah, sometimes pawn shops. Oh, I love pawn shop. You don't never know what you find. You never know. You don't never know. I love it. Where's all yours? Right here, bud. But but thank you, Mr. Hey, CJ. Pleasure. Very nice to meet you. All right, buddy. You. Well, thank you, sir. Guys, Mr. CJ Buck himself. That was worth the trip right there. Made my day. Made my day. Slightly different, but very similar. similar. And what's the price on it here? Those dragon flies. One hundred five eighty dollars. Show price. Wow. Made in in Sinky City, City, Japan. Yep, absolutely. Very cool, man. I think I'll, 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 I'll take it. You want to go with one of those? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll get you right up front there. What was your name? It's Kevin. Kevin? Yes. 1937. Wow. And that knife is all but mint. And it's black stag. Wow. Now, what? when Case says rough black, what is rough black? That's you, not Case. That's Remington. Right, right. I understand. But you, you know what I'm saying? When Case has... Rough black as the the handle. It just Why looks. Have, uh, it just looks. Uh, I know what it looks like, but like what? A, but but what is, is it though? Bone. Is it's bone? Okay. That's not bone. That's it's black stag. Black stag. This is a Look rimming. At the back. You see that worm groove uh, right there? Right. That's stag. Be beautiful man. Really? And, and hang, hang. So so what's your name? How does Chris? Well, good to, to meet good you, Good to sir. meet you, too. I'm, I'm looking at a, a Remington wife. What is it? It's an RS3333. And it's on sale right now for $150. Yeah. 
too filthy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just messed I'm up. old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, sir. You too, buddy. Take care. All right, man. Two fifty, huh? And there's three. Three of the blades have got the stamp on it. Golly. And it's all about mint. I think the master blade's been sharpened the one time. And that's about it. No splits, no cracks, no nothing. That's amazing, man. Amazing. From 1925 to 1937, people faked that knife. They'd actually build them and fake them. And then they tried to copy them. And other companies tried to make one. They could never do it. And that knife was only made until 1937. Then they were discontinued. Wow. It's tempting, man. It's tempting. Now, now, what is that right there? That's the Girl Scout sister, Remington. Wow. And what does that one run? Them are some strong screens, man. Swedge, long pull. Take 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 My God, man. That is a beautiful knot. I think that master's been sharpened one time, maybe. Uh-huh. What, what does this one run? This one I'm going to let go for $100 because it's missing the pen blade. Oh, it is? The pen blade's oh, broke and missing. Is. But the rest of the knife is just freaking mint. It is. And I couldn't throw it away. No, I I'm wouldn't not, I'm not going to throw it away. No, sir. I wouldn't even try to repair it because you'll probably met me mess up the bolster or bone on that. Well, figure this, if somebody has a pen blade and sticks it in there, it's a $300 knife. Right. But the thing about it is, trying to get it apart to put that pen blade in there. Oh, there's people that do it. Oh, I know it. I know it, but it's very, they're very good, put it that way, if they do it. Yeah. Especially on this old of a knife. Dude, I might have to talk with you. If that one's available tomorrow, I might have to talk with you about that one. You wouldn't happen to have a case knife with a 25 cent on the chain, now would you? You've seen those? I've never seen them. That is the cheapest brand of knives, but you ain't never seen no prettier knife. I know. That's Imperial. It's Imperial. Yeah, I have two of them. I love that it. That is a gorgeous little knife. And you know what my favorite one, my favorite tool is on that thing? The screwdriver. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why Victoria Knox and other people just continue to put that corkscrew. That's prettier than any one of them. It is. It is. Even nicer than that. Yeah, it's beautiful. I knew exactly what it was when I seen that the, the Phillips head up top. It's, it's a beautiful knife. Now, now, how much are you selling it for? Oh, you got it, Mark. I'm sorry. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. There, they, and, and that one looks almost. I ain't opened the blades up, but I'm. It, it no, looks it's, almost mint. No, it's mint. Yeah. No, this knife is mint. Now, do you do you know the production years on on, on this? I don't know if one of them might be. I, have a, a I back. can tell you that stamp tang right there, the tang stamp. It is the USA over to the right? If the USA is over to the right, it's from uh, fifty six to eighty eight. That's when they use that tank stamp, if, if that's USA. Yeah, it's over to the right. Uh -huh. That's but Providence, Rhode Island. I can almost guarantee you, though, it's from the 60s. Some of them used to have, I think it's 60s. Yes. The punch is perfect. I mean, everything's perfect. It's a beautiful knife. I do. I have two of those, man. Screwdriver's perfect. That's probably the best knife Imperial ever made. In my, it's pretty. In, it's in Delrin. It's uh -huh. not real bone. Right. But it's the prettiest Delrin you ever seen in your life. It is. It is. It is. So, so how long you been been, been collecting now? Um, I'll be seventy six next July. So seventy years. <laughs> well, good. Cub Scout uh -huh. is when I started. Is that right? Yeah. I love Boy Scout knives. Yep. But I'm I'm serious. If if that one's still available tomorrow, I'll be around. Snooze, you lose. I know. I know. I know. And you won't see another one for two fifty. Jim Sargent's book thirty years ago had that price at four and a half with the black stag. Right. That thing is immaculate. Immaculate. I stole it basically. Right. Beautiful. 
What's, what's, what's your favorite knife here? Now, what is that? That's a Dan Pergolini knife. Made in... Uh... Dan Pergolini made it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you, so you make knives, too? Golly, man. That's a, that's a Mediterranean Dirk. That is a beautiful knife, man. Asymmetrical grind. Acts like a blood groove. All my fittings are dovetailed. Walrus ivory. Wow. My engraving, my dovetailing, my everything. Wow. That bar of steel is a Jerry Rado's bar of steel. is 300 bucks. Wow. Now, what does something like this run, buddy? 1800 $1,800. Wow, man. That's amazing, dude. I wish I could make something happen as good as that. You know, these are all my handmades here. Now, do you still, you make knives still? You do? <laughs> I just wanted, now these look pretty good now. That's number 21 and 22 of those. Those are little everyday carries. Wow. Now, what's something like this run? 250. 250. All 440 C stainless. I love that little step in the center. That little, little gunner sheath. I love it, man. And I even got my P on the back. So uh -huh. That's very cool, dude. Very cool. Name up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So where where can people reach you at? Right here? Here. Get a card. Okay. I got a website on there. My address is on there. Phone number is get, get one of those cards. I'll put the other two back. Well, buddy, beautiful, beautiful work. Now, I know what that one is. That's the big chief. Queen. Have you read the articles about them? Uh, the, the sailors... Yeah, yes, that that amazed me. Now, now I have an old one from uh, 61 to 71, I believe, or 60 to 71, where they were just doing... I am ex-Navy. Okay, okay. <laughs> when did you serve? 66 to 70. Well, appreciate your service, sir. Appreciate your service. Yeah, but um, the, if that has the etching on, on the blade, it's 60 to 71, I believe it is. I have an older one of that, and I have a, a newer one also. I this love one, those knives. This, this one's been around a while. The, the blade is, is whittled some. Oh, that blade's mint oh, as wow. they come. Oh, wow. Can I see it? That's as nice as they come. Yes, sir. Now, I think this one is 90s, I believe it is. Very nice. Very nice. It's one of my, my, my favorite knives now. I have two two of those. Hey, wait, wait, wait. This is how you can reach them right here, y'all. So you're from Plant City, Florida? Yep. I, well, I appreciate your time, sir. All right, man. No problem. I'm going to come back with you tomorrow and check on that knife. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, sir? Doing good. How about y'all? Doing good, buddy. I've really fall, I've, I've fallen in love with, with Baron's son. Well, we appreciate it. Really have. See the new one? Well, this is the newest one. This, foot, this guy. That's a seafood blade, ain't it? Yes. That, that, they were in right, right there? No, oh, that's... Uh, uh, my Carter. That's, that's there is G10. G10. I'm so sorry. Now that one, now, now what does that one run right here, that red one? That was show space for everything, $63, that's D2. And that's a Warncliff blade? Warncliff blade. Beautiful. Now what's that blue dent that you that's get them? That's Okay. Now, now, now what does this one run? Let's see, that one there, that one there. That's a pretty knife. Dollars is $70 here at the show. Which one, this, this one here? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty, man. Now I like how the blade is blacked out like that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. I love that. Do y'all do y'all make the queen knives right now? Or you, you ain't allowed talk, to say? You need to talk smoky about that. <laughs> okay, that's my answer. <laughs> Because I asked them the same thing. They, they wasn't allowed to say. Because I asked them, does Baron's son make y'all queen now? He said, well, we're not allowed to say right now. Okay. <laughs>
but I but I absolutely adore y'all's knives. Well, we appreciate it. I'm just glad y'all making them here in the United States, man. We work hard at it. I know it's harder, getting harder every day. Every day. Some days you wonder. I like it better. Me too. Feels really good too. It's a it, it's a bigger knife than I thought it was. Really big. And you say it's what? SD2 at $63. $63. It's, it's the first day, so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm limited. That's right. That's that's right. Got the ball you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a sale every November, right? Yes. Now, when is that? It's always the weekend before Thanksgiving. Weekend um, before Thanksgiving. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Weekend before Thanksgiving. Now, what do y'all sell then? What what type of knives do y'all sell? We sell, sell our boo boos. Oh, okay, okay. We sell our overruns where, you know, somebody, we say we're going to make 300 of that. We make, you know, for a special order and all of a sudden it's 375 or something. I got so you. So we sell those boo boos or if it's got a little bitty. Uh, tip out where we put a pin in or something. Right, 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 right. You know, I can't, I can't sell it in the car, so we sell our boo boos. I understand. I understand. Now, do y'all have an event that day, too? Like, you walk, you're able to walk through the factory. Is that right? You see how the knives are being built and ground and everything else. That is so awesome. And sometimes the sampling machines are running. Sometimes I got them over there helping with okay. knife sale. Just for how busy it is. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we have about 3,000 folks come through every year. We got folks from Arizona, Texas fly in. Guy out of Maine flies in every year. Been doing it for years. We're probably about five hours from Fermi down. It's worth your trip. It is. And uh, if you need a uh, hotels and everything, if you need to holler at the shop and ask, or you can send me an email. Gary and everybody else's cards here all of a sudden. <laughs> I understand. Um, let me know. We got a couple of rooms, a couple of different hotels with a block off rooms for you. Okay, well, good. I appreciate that so much. Y'all have any uh, the, 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 the stickers or anything? Y'all have stickers? I don't have any with me. I, okay. just, I, I, I understand. Them. I understand. We were sharp finger. Pretty That's pretty, man. Very pretty. Very pretty. This is new. Wow. Now, what kind of sheath come, like, comes with it? It comes with a little nylon okay. sheath. It's, it's not a carry knife, but to protect it. You know, it's a barbecue knife. Oh, yes, sir. Or bell dressing. That's very nice. I love that, man. I'll let you put it back there, man. That's pretty right there now. That's the master steel. Wow. I love that bone. It's kind of, y'all 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 toast that, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's actually shim bone out of an Argentina cow. We jig it, dye it, and then burn it. Now watch something like this run. knife is... Now, do y'all do the, the Damascus in-house? No. Okay, now who does that for y'all? I have uh, five different suppliers in the United States that make the nice bags. Okay. It's either 171 or 120 here at the show. Okay. Not too bad. No, we, uh, we actually owned the Damascus plant there in Jacksonville, and I sold it back to St. Edward's son. And of course, he sold it off in the end, but uh, we were using the same... Now, is your family part part of the owner? Uh, I'm, I'm the owner. You're the owner? Yeah. Well, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me and my wife. Well, I'll be dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, bless your heart. I had no idea. Yeah. I thought they didn't sent somebody down no, here. <laughs> no, I come out here. I've been in this 47 years. That's awesome, buddy. Well, thank you for all that you do, buddy. Appreciate I appreciate it. you still making knives in the United States. Yeah, I really do. Really. Mm -hmm. So Our cool. Boys like, they like showing off their goods. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love bearing something. I really do. I really do, man. But, I, but hey, I'll come back by, man. Okay. Come, come back, back by. You. I sure will because I'm thinking about getting that one and then the other one you're talking you, okay. you're showing. Me. All right. 
Well, thank we'll you, sir. Hi, right, bud. You the owner, sir? Are you the owner of Spot? Well, I appreciate it uh, for you to, to bring back Spotico in the United States, man. I appreciate you building the, the knives out, out yeah, we, we in Colorado. Keep growing our factory. Uh, can't keep up with demand right now. But the new expansion should be ready in summer. We'll be able to make more dollars. Okay, that's awesome, buddy. I already did it, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so cool. I have the pair. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that so much. But I love that knife, eh? The pair, too. Love it. Oh, yes, sir. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful knife. Where, where are y'all from? Michigan. From Michigan? Yep. How about that? From, 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 from the UP? Nope. We're <laughs> trolls. We're under the bridge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. This is some nice work, man. Thank you. Very make, nice make work. Make all in our shop start to finish. Wow. I love that right here. Beautiful. Love that. Now, what kind of sheath does that come with? It comes with. Oh, okay. That one. Okay. It really has a belt clip on there. I got one somewhere, but just a kydex sheath. You know. Ah, I got you. That's nice, man. It doesn't rattle. You know. is, is that a neck knife? Uh, it can't. It could be. It could it's be. a little big for that. I, yeah, but I normally agree. Normally, we have a belt loop attached to it. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. That's Very part nice. of the firecraft series, so it's kind of designed for making fires. Okay. Now, now, what is the the, the handle? G10. That's G10. Yeah. Oh. Texture G10. That's nice, man. Thank Very you. Nice. Now these go with this, right? Right. Ah, I got you. Yep. Beautiful. Y'all do the, the the leather work too? We don't do that in house. We have a company in Louisiana that does that for us. All USA though, man. Yep. All I love USA. That, man. I really. One hundred percent US made. Yeah. Check these out. I mean, y'all got some good looking knives, man. Thank you. I love these. Very good. Reasonably priced too. Yeah. Normally those are uh, like anywhere from one hundred and fifty to two hundred. But they're marked off because they're factory seconds. Okay. You know, the blemishes that we sell them at this show. So wow. It's hard, hard to find the, find the blemish, but it's just a cosmetic thing. Now, what would make that a, a, a second? I don't know. Because I don't see it. Oh, there's a tiny little divot right there. Oh. I see. So we can't sell that as a new knife, you know. Oh, I see it there. Yeah. If if you wouldn't have told me, I'd have found it eventually. But yeah. after I, I used it some. I would never found right. it. Right. Yeah, that's so good, man. Yeah, and this has like a tiny little grind line right there that we didn't like. Yeah, so. I love that that uh, that color though. Yeah. That orange just pops too. Yep. I love it, man. Very good. And I love bears, man. I'm, this is the first day, so I'm, I'll come back and see y'all. Sounds good. All right, bud. Well, thank y'all. Thanks a lot. USA in Michigan. Awesome. We're going to do the CLXR. This has been out for quite a while. Uh, it's a uh, coating knife. So that's 35 on the handle or on the blade. That's USA made. USA, USA made. You have a smaller version like that? We do not, unfortunately. Watch the other one that y'all. It's right going to be more of an automatic style. Oh, wow, yeah. So, but this is also... Now, what does something like that run right here? I believe this is going to retail for about 169 Here at the show, we're doing about 145 Okay. Can I see it? Thank you, bud. Now, how do you release it? Pull down, and sometimes you have to push. Oh, okay. Sometimes you have to... Push. Oh, okay. you have to push. oh, buddy. No, you're good. You're good. Dude, I'm sorry, man. So USA made as well. Oh my goodness. It comes with a pretty sharp sheath as well. Now what does that one run? 
I uh, believe they're right at the same price, three forty nine retail. Three forty nine. Three forty nine retail. Wow, yeah. that's a gun, nice knife. Is that yeah. right around the corner there? Yeah, you they always fix my door. And I love it. Now this one here is super slim and light, and very light, and very well made too, buddy. Very well made. Now where was this one? At? Yeah, and you just put it up here. Like that. Oh, like that? Yeah. Or, or like that? There you that's go. Fine. There you go. I'm gonna so, look at this and say that's the California version. This one, right? This that right there. One, yeah. Now what is this one here? That's uh, pretty. So this is just a Ultra XR. This is just a really ultra light knife. I think it's about one ounce. Um, some advertised to use as a money clip. Oh, and so, where's where, where this one made? That's actually going to be Taiwan. In Taiwan? Yeah. I love that right there, how thin it is. It is super thin. Carbon fiber. Yeah, it's all very cool, man. Carbon fiber? It's, it's oh my God. Handle. Now, what does that one run? Uh, 169. 169. Yeah. I can't believe how thin this is. Yeah. That's very cool. It, it, it's not a bad knife. I carried it for a while. I actually used it as a money cut for a while. So how long you been? Been with Cold Steel? I've been with GSM for going on 12 years. Wow. So, but we... Good for you, bud. You want to open that back up? Yeah, I'm going to see this one. For some reason, I like that little thing. I, I do, too. I don't never live in California, but I, I So like they won't allow blades over 2 inches long now? 1.96. Yeah. That's all nice. No, no, no. Just automatic. Automatic. Yeah, I understand it. I understand. And and you got to be under four inches total. You can only have like three point nine in California, but wow. autos are under two. I got you. That's very cool. Right. Um. We have a fixed blade under cold steel now. That's actually made in the U.S. I like to see it. Yeah. Okay. Call the Republic. I'll bring it. Uh -huh. Love this right here. It's called a California Special. Wow. That's beautiful. It's made in the USA? Mm -hmm. That's right. We came out with uh it's not been out long, maybe eight months or so, maybe twelve. Wow. And that's for uh boot in bushcraft, right? Bushcraft, yeah. Wow. More of a higher end bushcraft. Right. Love the sheath too. Now where's the sheath made? Good question, man. Good question. Good question. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering, buddy. Just wondering. What kind of the, the, the handle there? Is that that canvas McCarta? Yes, sir. And then uh, I believe it's got a 3V blade on it. It could be wrong. No, S35. Wow. That's awesome, buddy. Feels good, too. It does feel good. I, love mean, I, the, I fall the, in love with it every time I hold it. Yeah. Well, thank you, buddy. It's just kind of, it has that rugged look and feel. It does. To it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Absolutely. buddy. And your name is Mike. Mike. Mike? Yes. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. I love that, man. They got some good knives, they do. Very good knives. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video today. I had a blast today, guys. I really did. It was really uh, an experience. It really was. Uh, it's just overwhelming of how many vendors and people there are. They said there's going to be more people here tomorrow than it was today. And today was a lot of people. But tomorrow is supposed to be two to three times as many. Because I guess tomorrow's Saturday. So uh, I had fun. I really did. I picked up some knives. Uh, I went ahead and bought me a uh, Spyderco Dragonfly 2 with Zone Green Handles. Uh, very nice knife. I already got one that I fixed the blade on, but I love that knife, so I wanted another one right here, and you can't beat the price for 80 bucks. Very cool. I love that knife. I really do. And I uh, also picked me up a little Victoria Knots with a, a uh, SD Classic with a Sasquatch on there. Right here. Can't get enough of these things. I really can't. You see that right there? It's got wonder on it. All those who wonder are not lost. Pretty cool. And I uh, also bought an old electrician's knife, four line Camillus. Bone handle. 
Four line Camillus, that means it was made from 1930 all the way to the mid 40s. There's no brass in this thing. So it's probably the 40s, I'm thinking. But check that thing out. Check it out. Bone handles now. And guess how much I paid for it? $35. You believe that? $35 at the Atlanta Blade Show. And uh, I went ahead and gave him 40 for it. I did. Because I've never seen an electrician knife with a bone handle. A Camillus. And listen to this. Did that snap? Ain't that awesome? Got that little bell. I love it. It's in excellent shape. It really is. And no Wade Helms, you can't have it. <laughs> uh, you can't have this in Wade Helms. This is uh, gonna stay with me. <laughs> um, but also bought, guys, uh, the Boker knife that I said I wasn't gonna buy, but uh, they made me an, an, an offer that I couldn't refuse. But there it is right there. Ain't that awesome? That's gonna be going into my new knife shop. Just like it comes with a display case too. Ain't that cool? Very cool. It's number 84 for the serial number. 84, ain't that awesome? And they said the first 300, the handles were polished and that thing is smooth as glass. It really was. But uh, I'm glad I went ahead and got it, got it guys. But it's regular five ninety two, and they gave it to me for four fifteen, so not too bad. But I also had a guy that I met the day in line. It was a nice man. He was uh, in his seventies. He he's an army veteran. His uh, his name is Paul. He's from Georgia. Uh, very nice man. Very nice man. He was telling me about his mom. Uh, she's a hundred and one. Can you believe that? 101 years old. Ain't that awesome? Uh, but he gave me a knife, guys. He just, we got to talking. He showed me the knife, and I was like, man, I got to get me one of those, you, you, you know, because it looks like an Oppenel. You all know how much I love the Oppenel design. And uh, before we before he left, before we parted the ways, he, he reached into his uh, bag and gave it to me. And uh, I just can't get over how nice this knife community is guys but i've never seen one of these knives before i didn't think i'd ever own one of these knife brands and it's made in the usa uh it's a cold steel guys and it's called a twist master check that thing out got a lan lanyard hole it's plastic handles but don't it look like an opera nail ain't that cool it's called a twist master now See? Very cool. And it has the design like the Oppenel forgot. We just twist this and lock the blade. See? Ain't that awesome? And it's a carbon five steel. It's sharp as a razor already. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be oiled some. But I have never seen one of these. This was made in the 80s. And uh, you go look these up. They're going for 100 bucks new or in in great condition a hundred dollars just gave it to me i mean that's just amazing to me amazing when i get back home i'm gonna clean it up and i'm gonna carry it for a little while because it comes in a nice sheath a nice nylon sheath and look where it's made ain't that awesome you can see here see that carbon five made in usa and it's called Twist Master. Ain't that awesome? I didn't even know these existed, y'all. And there's so many knife makers out there, guys, make, making stuff in the USA. So many. And uh, I'm gonna tell y'all something. And uh, probably gonna be making a lot of the knife community mad at me, but Case has really disappointed me. They have Buckhead stuff to give away. Baron Sons, they're all gonna come down. 
Buck's owner come down. Spider Coast Company comes down. Spider Coast Company helps the veterans and first responders. Buck helps the veterans and first, first responders. But what does Case do? What does Case do? I'm, uh, their quality control was terrible. Every time I turn around, I'm getting emails about people's case knives being have sent, being sent back. But Case didn't have anything to give away. Nothing up on the counter but catalogs. You know? No stickers. I didn't see not one stick, sticker up on the counter. I'm going to look again tomorrow. I'm even going to go up there and ask. But I'm just, uh, I'm really disappointed in Case. I really am. And uh, I don't know how y'all feel, but that's just me, guys. I'm, uh, they just, they, to me, they're living on their name right now. That's all they're doing is living on their name. But uh, I don't want to get on that soapbox, but I love Case, especially the old stuff. I really do. I love old Case. But this new stuff they're putting out, guys, some of it's good now. I'm not going to say all of it. Um. But you really got to inspect. If you're going to go buy a case knife now, you better inspect it before you buy it or have you know the person that you're buying it from. If they say it's a good knife and you can trust them, go ahead and buy it. But if you order a case knife or if you looking at it online, you better inspect it first, I'm telling you. Uh, but, but again, guys, that's just me. I'm just telling you what I saw at the trade show today at the Atlanta Blade Show. Um, Case wasn't near as friendly to talk to like the other companies were. I'm just saying. They didn't have uh, the stuff on the counters to give away. They just expect you to come up and talk to them. And uh, they're just living on their name right now. They're living by their reputation, old reputation. But, uh, I have to hand it to Buck, Baron Sons, and Spotico. The owners were there. They really were. It was really nice to see to see that. Really nice to talk to them. And I thank every one of them for making knives in the United States. Too. So, uh, anyway, guys, I ramble on and off. Anyway, guys, I want to say God bless y'all. Till we meet again, guys. Y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp.